Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about resources. Resources are classes that enable you to interact with response in JSON. And here for example on my controller, I am returning the user with ID number 1. And here is the normal way of returning JSON directly. But in resources we can control for example in keys we can load something called conditional loading and so on. So the first thing to generate a resource we can say here PHP artisan make resource right and the resource name it will be user resource right and as you can see here it's generated under app HTTP resources and user resource back here and here our user resource and if you noticed let's remove these comments and if you notice here we have two array method with request parameter which represents the current request or our request and it must return an array right if we back here it must return array or in arrayable thing so let's remove it again and let's return an array right first of all i will return here the id and to return an id of user we can say this because it represents the object or the user that we will pass here and i will say return id right now to use this class we can say here return and the new user resource and i will pass a resource here which is our user right here our user back and send the request again and now it returns id wrapped with data key let's return another property for example name and i will say here this name send request and it returns name and also i will change this key we can say username right send request and it's sent let's return bunch of users instead of one user so i will say here user get i have only five users and let's see what will happen if i still pass this user or bunch of users inside this class here send it again and i will receive an error because now i am sending collection or bunch of users not only one user so in this case we can say user here right user resource and use method called collection right back and send the request again now it works and fits all users right what if i select only two columns which is id and name right and now in my resource i will also say here email and this email but take care here i fetched only id and name so when i send the request again it returns email null if you want to get rid of any null value or return the value of an attribute when presented only we can use this method so we can use here when not null email when email not null preview this email right send again and it returns email only back here it must be like that this email if this email value not null present it send request again now it not represented i will select the email now back and send now it returns email actually i filled this data dummy like here and now it works as expected right we can also load relationships as you can see here i defined the posts relationship using any key here so posts and i will say here this posts and send it now it returns each user with each post but we don't load it here so we can add conditional loading or eager loading here i will say if it's included only right if it's inclu included inside with here with posts we will load it inside our resource so back and send again it fetches posts and inside resource again i will say here this when loaded then return this posts right back and send the request it doesn't work because here in this parameter it must be the string with the name of relationship 
must be posts here send again now it works if I remove this with here right it will not return anything or posts right now it works correctly also here you can use access properties for example in my user model here I have an attribute which is join at and it returns diff for humans for credit at date we can use it also inside our resource so we can say for example join at and we can say here this join at right now send request again and as you can see here join at two hours from now what if we remove this attribute and send request again it returns null and also we can add some controller here we can say when has join at and now send request and now it removed the join at because it has not join at if I take it again here now send request again it didn't work so instead of that we can use when not null when not null and send now it works right and instead of that we can say also here this join at this join at send again and value works correctly also if we load the count of relationship for example here with count of posts right and the get we can also add control for that so here for example we can say here posts count and it will be fetched only when counted when relation counted fetch this key back and send it again it returns posts count and if I remove this posts count here with count and send request again it disappeared right but what if for example here we return the with sum right with sum of posts of likes column right here in my database I have posts table and it has column called likes and dislikes it will return the sum of likes of its posts and send it again it's not loaded how can we load this type of data we can say here this merge when merge when and we can say here this posts or likes sum right and we will say function value or even direct function here we can say return array and this likes sum right back here and we will set it here as likes sum send request and it returns as zero so we can here for example set this key as likes send again now it returns likes right or some likes here likes maybe some and here is uh, another useful usage of merge when function or even you can use it directly here using likes sum and again this when not null likes sum let's comment it and send it again and instead of that we can say here this likes sum back and send again and it returns the same result right also this when merge or merge when method can take multiple value for example here likes average maybe and I will say this likes average and I will load it here also using likes or sorry again with average of posts for likes number and I will say here as likes average back and send again and it returns the average 
of posts likes right this win merge also is good for maybe for checking or returning a condition with true for example if current user maybe is admin right or any something like that you can use this merge win for specific conditions maybe we can also use collection inside collection so for example i will say here posts and we can use post collection i will say here php artisan or even we can use the previous command here post resource right and now i generated a new resource for posts let's open it here our post resource and i will say return only the title of post title this title and now also i added here with posts i loaded posts also we can say post resource and the collection because it may be multiple posts and i will say this when loaded posts right back and send the request again and it returned with posts and only title of that posts what if i remove this with here send it again and disappeared because i didn't load the posts right if you want also to load the many to many relationship we can use something called for example tags right we can use method called this when pivot loaded right also when pivot loaded as you may use pivot model for that or if it's normal we can use directly here when pivot loaded and then here is a relationship for example maybe role user or even you can use a pivot model using new and model name new and model name right and in the second parameter we can say here function right and this pivot and you can return any value you want from this table right maybe tag or anything you want also this resources works for pagination imagine for example here we will use paginate right and send the request again it works for pagination as you can see here links and the metadata and other necessary data for each resource if you want to access each user we can use here a variable called this resource right this value here and what if i die and dump this value we can use here this one die and dump and send request again add semicolon first And as you can see here, it returns an instance of the current user, right? So original here, the first user and other data of that user, right? Also, if you noticed, it loaded all data, but only we selected name and email and some specific data to return. And you can even execute some functions inside model using this resource available. For example, we can say here function in a function quickly and display name right just for example return this name we can use it for resource here this resource because it's instance of the name or user and display name send it again and as you can see here it returns Muhammad because its name is Muhammad here and the product of this method right you can use also methods here also you can do some calculation or some functions inside this class so you can say user name as an example this resource display and it will work for each user and i will use it for example user name send request and it works fine here are some tips about resources in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe See you in next video.